Welcome to the Microsoft Azure Administration Training. The focus here is to prepare you for the AZ-104 certification. But even if you are not planning to take the exam, this course will help you get started on your way to become an Azure Administrator. My name is Anand Rao and I'll be your instructor for this course. To start with, let's go ahead and understand the various domains in AZ-104 and what you'll be tested on. The AZ-104 exam comprises of several domains and that is how I have structured this course as well. We'll be getting started with Azure Active Directory. AZ-104 focuses on identities. That is because we are living in an identity-centric world. There are a lot of applications that integrate directly with Azure Active Directory. It's important to get this right, otherwise you'll end up with several issues. The next module that we'll cover is the governance and compliance, where you'll understand what subscriptions are, how accounts are connected to subscriptions, how do you have better control on your subscription with policies. One of the most important things for security folks is role-based access control. So we'll understand how that is governed and controlled in Active Directory in Module 2. Module 3 is about Azure administration. How do you connect to your Azure resources? Can you connect through a phone, PowerShell, CLI, Cloud Shell, and Azure Portal as well? There are different methods that you can employ to connect to Azure and then deploy your services. We'll also understand what ARM templates are and how you can use the ARM templates or the JSON templates to ease up your deployments. The module four is all about virtual networking. You know that networking creates a foundation for all your resources in your infrastructure. So it's important to understand how we can create a virtual network in Azure. How do you set up IP addressing? What's a CIDR block? And how do you control ingress and egress, rather say inbound and outbound data traffic with the help of Azure firewalls. We'll also talk about how name resolution is done with the help of Azure DNS. To talk more about it, we'll understand private and public DNS as well. Module 5 is an extension of Module 4 where we speak about inter-site connectivity. So how do you connect your on-premise network to the network that you created in Azure? Well, there are different ways. You can use a VPN connection or an express route, and you can use VNet peering to connect one virtual network with another virtual network in Azure. We'll be talking about the limitations of that and also understand it better with the help of lab activities. Module 6 is again an extension of Module 5 where we'll understand how do you handle the traffic in Azure. There are different kinds of devices we have. We call them as Azure Load Balancer, the Application Gateway, and the Traffic Manager as well. Module 7 is Azure Storage. So we'll understand everything as far as storage accounts are concerned. How do you connect to Azure Storage? Different kinds of storage available, for example, blob, files, tables and queues and what kind of service offerings are there to synchronize your on-premise storage to the storage in the cloud. Module 8 is about virtual machines. Creating a virtual machine is an easy task but then in this module we'll learn how to deploy virtual machines at an enterprise scale. How do you automate the deployment of virtual machines using ARM templates? How do you make your virtual machines highly available with the help of availability sets? Module 9 speaks loud about serverless computing. Today's developers would always like to go for serverless methods to design their modern web applications. So in this module, we'll understand what service offerings does Azure have to deploy your applications using serverless technologies. For example, Azure App Services, container services and then the architecture level of Azure Kubernetes service. Module 10 is about data protection. How do you take backups of your data? How do you recover them using Azure Site Recovery? And to end AZ-104, Module 11 is about monitoring. You deployed all of these resources from Module 1 to Module 10, but how do you monitor them? How do you get alerted? How do you keep track of your resources? Yeah. How do you analyze what's going on on your virtual machine? How do you trace what's going on on your network? That's about module 11. In every module, we're going to speak about the theoretical section of every component and also demonstrate with the help of hands-on labs. I hope this course will be informative to you. There's a lot to cover, so let's get started.